Hey everybody, Kathy here from Whole Home and Body Health, and today I want to show you the proper way to do containment for a mold remediation job. Now I have another video on what not to do during remediation, and this time I want to show you some best practices and how you should do containment when you're setting up, getting ready to demo and fix a mold issue that you may find in your house. So I'm at a client's home here who was going through remediation and uh, the remediation company was here today setting up containment and then I came over to just double check to make sure everything looks good and I want to show you what we found. Okay, so the area that is impacted is in this bedroom here in the closet. So first we have a zipper door here. So we've got six millimeter plastic and then the zipper door, which I'm gonna open. Okay. And then the containment area is in there with another zipper door. So I like to see that. Oftentimes what I see is a company that just does the door here, they would only contain this. But what this company has done, and I'm sorry that I know it's loud because we've got fans going, but this company has made another containment area and you see that they put down some plastic so that they don't get the carpet all gross when they're walking in and out. So that's excellent. Now I'm gonna open this zipper door. All right, and then we come in. You see that we've got a HEPA air scrubber going with a brand new filter, fantastic, and it is blowing it outside through this window here, amazing. That is what we want to see. So it's sucking in the air, taking it outside so that everything that's in this containment area doesn't go into the living spaces. And we have another door which this looks really awesome. So what they did here, the, the area that we're concerned about is actually in this closet. So we've got another zipper door with another layer of six mil plastic over top. And so if I go in this zipper door and then we're in the closet, as you can see, and it doesn't look like anything's going on here, but we did find, I pulled this carpet up a while ago when I was here doing the inspection and saw some um, mold growth, which we tested, which was Aspergillus penicillium. And so why is there mold growth in this closet? Um, you know, there's water uh, valve here. Uh, this is the access for the crawl space. So probably some kind of moisture condensation going on or a water leak. So we're gonna pull the carpet up, the remediation company is gonna pull the carpet up, fix all this, cut into this wall to see where that moisture might be coming from. Okay, so this looks great. Close up this, whoops, close up this zipper door here. Another really important thing here is that you wanna make sure that the vents are sealed over, um, which these are excellent because you don't want any of the mold spores to get into the ductwork and contaminate the rest of the house. So I'm happy to see that too. All right, and so now you, you can, we know that the, um, the negative air pressure is working because of the suction, the pulling and the pushing that it has with, with the, um, the plastic barrier here. So that's very good. And looks great so I'm very happy okay so I'm super excited about that that is the best example of proper containment that I have seen um, they really went above and beyond to contain that area for any possible mold spores that might get aerosolized any mycotoxins that might get airborne um, when they do their decon you know the um, deconstruction and the demo because when they cut into the materials, when they pull up the carpet, that is gonna aerosolize mold and mycotoxins. So they're doing an excellent job there of containing that so that we minimize any potential exposure to other living spaces. 
So by and large, every other remediation company that I've worked with has not done that. They've done one zipper door at the most, and oftentimes I come by and I see it open. The filter's rarely new in the HEPA air scrubber, and they rarely put anything down on the floor. So very happy about that. Um, hope that was helpful for you. That's what you should be looking for during a remediation if you're going through this. So questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. As always, always happy to hear from you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, uh, hit the bell, subscribe, hit the like. That helps too. Thanks, everybody. Bye.